Hey, what's going on guys? It is Lasty here and welcome to another Legend Squad Builder. I've been loving doing these lately, so I'm going to bring you two more Legends today in this squad and I can't wait to show them to you. First off, if you guys are looking to buy any coins, check out the fifashop.co.uk and use the code LA5TY for a great discount. Links are down below in the description, guys. And if this video can hit 2,000 likes, that would be Epic. Uh, right then, so this team, let's start off in goal with a Frenchman, Hugo Loris. Uh, and Loris is pretty solid goalkeeper. I would say he's the second best in the Premier League. 86 diving, 89 reflexes, 81 positioning. He's six foot two and he's got that whole acrobatic save style. Uh, you don't pay too much for him, only around 8,000 coins, which is pretty damn good if I do say so myself. Uh, right centre back then today is going to be Laurent Koscielny, one of my favourites on Ultimate Team because he's got so much pace. Like It says 77 on his card, but this guy is rapid. I would say he's like 85, really. Um, it just seems that way to me and he always does a great job moving on to the middle center back then we have got this guy Mamadou Sako 71 pace 84 defending 83 heading this is his in form version and that that is a really good stats to have he's six foot two pretty decent work rates uh, and he, he's a very very solid center back he was a lot quicker last year but you know what when someone's that solid at the back you don't really really matter so moving on to probably one of my favorite center backs on this entire game it is Jerome Boateng. Now, 75 pace, 79 defending, but 82 heading. He's six foot four as well, uh, and he just does the business for me. He just he's he's tall, he's strong, he's quick, and he's just a solid, solid centre back. I'll never sell this one. He's my I'm first owner, and I just don't think there's ever any need for me to get rid of him because he is so good. Moving on to our midfield then. So we've got the 3-4-1-2. So this, this kind of looks like the 3-5-2, but it isn't actually that. Uh, we're going to be using the second in-form Aaron Ramsey. Now, he's having this season of his life uh, for Arsenal right now. And it is it's showing. He's got two in-forms already on FIFA. Um, this card, not the greatest. He got some assists and stuff. His passing, I'll give him that, is pretty good. Uh, and he does... Put the effort in up and down the pitch and stuff, but I don't know. He lacks a bit of uh, pace. He's a, he's not the most skillful, you know. So he's sort of an average in form in my eyes. Moving on to our other centre mid, then it's going to be someone who is great on FIFA, and that is Gundawan. He has got 82 pace, 87 dribbling, 84 passing. He's an 84 rated card that costs around 20k. Four star skills and weak foot. Then he's he's a great CDM. He's a great CM or a cam even. You could play him anywhere. He's pretty much much um, gonna do the business he's he's a great player the skill moves and stuff really help him out uh, and that's that's the difference between someone like Gundogan and second in form Ramsey in my opinion uh, moving on our right mid for this team is going to be Portuguese uh, so Premier League basically and it is Nani so Nani's got five star skill moves four star weak foot perfect work great high low which is great uh, he's got 88 dribbling 84 pays 80 shooting you know so he's a fairly like Fairly good card, and he's 83 rated and stuff. He costs around the thought 13 to 15 thousand coin mark, depending on which position you actually do buy him in. And uh, he didn't do an awful lot for me in this team, I must admit. But um, that is because, as always, when I've got legends in my squad, I'm pretty much looking for them to be the goal scorers rather than anything. But just looking at his stats, he's hardly assisted. Well, he hasn't assisted anything, which is a little bit of a surprise because I found him to be all right. He just he just lacked a little bit. So someone that was a little bit better for this squad is Marco Royce. He's a bit better than Nani, in my opinion. Um, and saying that, he only got himself one assist. So it, do it doesn't really seem like he did much either. Perhaps I was playing it out wide and then uh, knocking it back into the middle of the park or something before you know, playing the over-the-top ball to my strikers or something. So Royce, 91 pace, 86 dribbling, 86 shooting. Insane stats there. Four-star skills and weak foot and pretty good work rates as well. Uh, he's a very costly card at what 81,000 coins he still held his value very well on ultimate team and I imagine it's because uh, he is a very I don't know he's sort of an in fashion player at the moment I would say on ultimate team so uh, that is him moving on to our cam and it is going to be Arsenal's record signing Mezu Ozil 76 pace 74 shooting but he's got 87 dribbling 85 passing as well um, 
Not the greatest card on Ultimate Team. He's good for assists, as you can see there. He's got five, uh, and he's quite expensive as well. Fairly similar to like Royce in the sort of 70 to 80k range, and he won't really score you the goals, but he will be the guy playing the ball through to your strike force, who then score the goals for you. So that's not the worst thing to have. Uh, that is really what I'm expecting my Cam to do, um, and he does it very, very well. So moving on to our strike force, then we've got two legends. So I'll go ahead and put them both in right now. Now, we've got Rui Costa, and we've also got Bierhoff. Now, Bierhoff, let's talk about him to start off with. You might look at this this card and think, oh, well, he's not very quick, and his shot's pretty poor, and he hasn't got very good dribbling. Uh, but then you see that 89 heading stat, and... I don't know, I'm not the sort of player that really crosses the ball in and heads it in. I did get a couple with this team, just because this is pretty much what Bierhoff is all about. Um... I struggled with the guy to start off with. That's why I had probably three or four games where I didn't actually score with him to start with. Uh, and then he did end up getting like a goal a game. So that's where the eight goals in 12 games sort of comes from. Uh, but he doesn't feel as slow as 76 pace. Uh, he's a big guy. And once he lets rip for a shot, you know, it's going in the back of the net, I would say so. Uh, he's he's a solid player, but I was, I was hoping for a bit more. Let's just say that. Now, Ruby Costa, uh, he's traditionally a cam. I'm not sure why I'm playing him in a striker. Uh, I think when I bought him on the market, uh, this one was like 150k cheaper than anything else, and it was in the striker position. So I thought, you know what, I might as well just give it a go there. So uh, that's what we did, and he was also, you know, pretty decent. Uh, I scored more with him to start off with, and then once Bierhoff started coming into it, Rui Costa became the guy that was sort of playing the ball over the top and stuff like that. So um, they both only got eight goals in 12 games, but you know, 16 goals between them is not a bad little record. He's got four star skills and weak foot and he's a solid card looking at them stats so that's the squad guys let's move over and show you some of the goals that I got with this legend squad all right then lads it is goal time and uh, as always what we'll do is we didn't actually score any headers with this team that's what we normally show to begin with but I will show the players other than Bierhoff and Rui Costa that actually scored. And I like that finish there from Nani on his weak foot. I know the keeper came out, but I still thought that was a tidy little finesse shot from way outside the box on a weak foot. Lovely little run there by Ozil, and the one goal that he did score for me was actually quite a nice one. Um, but now, the whole show was pretty much about Bierhoff and Rui Costa. And the reason I did this KSI... Um, glitchy kickoff goal thing is because the guy had literally just done it straight to me and I just kicked off and scored from it. That's why I gave him the shush as well, just to tell him to sit down, you know. Uh, but that right there was a lovely finish from, from my man Oliver Bierhoff. Uh, Rui Costa has the pace uh, and the tight dribbling and the solid finish to uh, once, he just, once he gets past that defender, you're not really going to catch him, which is great. Uh, even though his pace is about 84, I don't know, he felt really rapid to me on the ball. Probably because he was a smaller guy and they generally feel a little bit more agile and quick and that sort of thing. Um, lovely little dink ball through there from Aaron Ramsey and Bierhoff. That's the sort of finish you can expect. Once I got used to him and got used to his shot and stuff, then that shot, that, that type of finish was everything that I expected from him. And it just works because uh, the legends, as I've said before, are incredibly clinical. They will score you lots of goals. Um, Bierhoff showing his 89 head in there. I didn't score as many headers with the guy as I thought I would. Um... I, I honestly thought it would be all about me trying to cross it down the line, get some headed goals, but it didn't turn out that way in the end. Uh, it turned out that I was actually scoring some quite nice um, goals with his feet, which I, I just I just wasn't expecting. Uh, but we get quite lucky here with Rui Costa, and that is a bang of a finish. That is the sort of finish that mostly just the legends do for me. Like, I don't know, just picking the ball up and taking a pot shot and... And it just sailing into the back of the net. I don't really expect it from too many players. Apart from like Ebra and stuff like that. It is all about these legends. Uh, we get quite lucky here with a bit of sort of strength in by Nani. And then Rui Costa's just there to just tap it home. And I've got two more goals to show you guys. Uh, one here from Bierhoff. And it's just a header at the back post. Just to show you his massive 89 heading. But the final goal I got was actually a really nice one. I really enjoyed it. Um, Rui Costa just on a run here. Just, you know, cuts back in. Uh, does a Berber spin to get past two defenders and then from that angle just smashes it into the bottom corner past Neuer as well. So obviously I'm going to take advantage and show you the lovely replays. So if you've enjoyed this video guys, please do drop a like. Let's try and hit 2000 can we? And I will catch you next time. Peace.